Das Wasser hat ein Gedächtnis. Water has a memory. And water has a kind of intelligence, much more than air, you know. Water is... it's a cosmic thing. Johann Grande, the waterman of Tyrol, believes that it is possible to transfer information from one sample of water to another, without the two of them coming into contact with each other. The process developed by him, so-called water revitalization, is based on the principle of conducting flowing water through a stainless steel container that is filled with revitalized water. The flowing water picks up the information from the still water. But Grande's success has its opponents, who call water revitalization parascientific nonsense. In fact, the process cannot be understood by using conventional scientific means. Nevertheless, more than 300,000 users worldwide rely on his system, from simple households to high-tech industries. Industrial users are not bothered by the critics. They rely on their own experience and results. Conventional water is aggressive and practically eats the pipes from the inside out, which leads to pipes bursting. At the Leedsen Mechanical Engineering plant in Austria, there seemed to be no solution to the problem. We had very serious problems with corrosion, and that was reflected in many instances of broken pipes. We now have the situation better under control. At first I really couldn't get my mind around it, you know, because when you look at the container you really can't imagine what good it could do. But based on the fact that we now have fewer instances of broken pipes and all, I'm convinced that it really does help. We monitored the water, and before we installed Grander, the iron content in the heating water was 26 milligrams per liter. Two months later, the iron had come down to only 0.7 milligrams per liter, which was, of course, excellent for the corrosion. The corrosion stopped. Does water revitalization make the water less aggressive? Positive results have been seen not only in the case of rust, but also with the accumulation of sludge. No one is sure why, but they are certainly pleased with the results. And in particular, we can say that the situation with sludge has noticeably improved. We also have records and measurements to prove it. They know the results, but not the reason. But isn't that good enough? Farmtech is a German company near Karlsruhe that produces plastic parts of all kinds. To maintain high material quality, the plant needs a good cooling system. We used to fill our cooling system with untreated tap water. Often, within only a couple of months, we'd find that the water had gradually gone bad. We then had to play around with various combinations of chemicals in an attempt to get the water under control. But we had little luck. We found a huge amount of rust in the system. Our lab tests also indicated the presence of a lot of bacteria and algae. All the problems pretty much disappeared when we switched over to the grander system. We just don't have to deal with these issues anymore. Water is a crucial factor in our production process. We needed process stability and now we have it. We're not much interested in taking water samples because we're not physicists or chemists. We prefer to stick to what we know best. If you had asked me last year whether such a simple change could have allowed us to use water without chemical treatment, I would have said, no way, not a chance. Often water has flowed a long way from the mountain to the valley. There is an old proverb that says, water is not clean until it has flowed over a stone seven times. There has been practically no research into the question of the importance to water of motion. What does the water pick up along its way? from the air and from its surroundings. 
Does it bring information with it from inside the Earth? Has it absorbed oscillations from minerals and ores? If so, can human beings retrieve it at the mouth of the stream? Uh-huh.